Hi everybody, um, welcome to this edition of Cooking with Tom All and we're going to do um, a pretty easy recipe, it's um, a sausage bake. Um, let me just run through some of the safety involved with this one. Again we're going to be using some knife skills and you're going to be um, using the oven and that's about it really for this one. So I'm rating this as a pretty easy recipe. Let me give you a quick run through the ingredients, there's not much to it. I've got about 600 grams of tomatoes, let's try to get some different coloured ones if you can and I've got some um, baby plum tomatoes, I've got some red wine vinegar and some olive oil just to dress it whilst it's in the roasting tray. Um, so try and get some good quality sausages, these are uh, um, Peacebridge porkers from a farm that's near us but if you can go to your butchers get some sausages um, and I think there's 12 there. I've got a couple of tins of cannellini beans but any white beans will do, you can uh, you know just select which beans you like salt and pepper well a little splash of water so I'll put that in in the bowl because we're going to use that later and I've got some nice uh, focaccia bread from the supermarket and um, you could I suppose make this yourself but they do sell it in more supermarkets and that's going to go in as well one thing I forgot to mention was I've got four cloves of garlic here which I have finely sliced um, and that's going to go in in a moment I've started to slice the tomatoes here so I've just halved them so I'm just going to go through and slice these ones. Keep your fingers well out the way and just slice them down the middle. So we're going to go through these tomatoes, obviously making sure we're careful with the knife and slice them like this. Okay, so that's me 600 grams of uh, rough, roughly chopped tomatoes. They go into the tray like this. Um, I'm going to add in the four, four cloves of garlic and just sprinkle that around. Next, I'm going to um, just chop up with a bread knife, roughly as for capture, into chunks. You could tear it up if you wanted to put it in. I'm just going to roughly get it into little chunks like this. And this, if some of them are a bit big like that, you can cut them in half. This is a rosemary for catcher, so it's quite tasty. This is all going to now be added to the tomatoes and the garlic in our tip. Might as well get all those bits of rosemary in there as well. I'm going to now add, including the juice, the two cans of beans. Any white beans will do for this. It might not look quite so appetizing now, but trust me, it's delicious. Um, about a tablespoon or so, a good glug of olive oil over the top, and about the same of red wine vinegar. So give that a sprinkle over. Season with some black pepper. And a little pinch of sea salt going over there. And what you can do is give this a bit of a mix round to make sure everything gets coated in the oil, in the vinegar, move it round a little bit. And that's the bed for, for our sausages. Okay, moving on to our little chipolata sausages. We're going to take them in the middle, twist them round, and then carefully cut them with a knife. Okay, I'll do another one. So you take it in the middle, twist it on the skin, and then carefully cut it with a knife. I'm going to go on to do the rest of these, and I'll show you what's going to happen next. That's all of our sausages, nicely uh, cut in half. And what we're going to do is just spread these around onto the tomato, the focaccia bread, everything that's in our roasting tray. This is comfortably serves four. Um, it's the ideal sort of dish you could do if you're going away to university. It's fairly cheap, um, but do buy good quality sausages. That makes all the difference. Um, what I am going to do is just add a little splash of water 
just to stop it sort of drying out and keep it nice and moist. What, what's on the top will go crispy. This is going to go into the oven now, which has been preheated to 180 degrees, and it's going to cook for around about 45 minutes till it's nice and crispy on the top. Okay, there we are. It's had nearer an hour really in the oven than 45 minutes. Um, you could serve it with some green beans or some salad, or something like that. I think we're just going to have it with some uh, brown sauce in a bowl. It's a nice winter warmer. Credits to the recipe to, um, it once again, Jamie Oliver, it's five ingredients. And thanks once again to my camera person, Eve, who's done a great job again. Thank you. See you next time.